All right, motor update thrice. So, uh, I got that loose. And I have the rocker box off. I made me a big old mistake though. I did it in the wrong order. I went to go and blow the fuel out of the head, right? Because you don't want all that fuel to just sit on top of the pistons, number one, uh, if, if it doesn't leak past. Um, you know, like say you're changing injector, right? And all the fuel and systems just gonna pool on top of the piston and it'll probably leak past eventually. But uh, if it doesn't leak past fast enough and you go to start it, she's gonna hide your lock and you're gonna bend all sorts of stuff. And then two, that diesel fuel is gonna, it's gonna pull all the lubrication. Oh, I mean, I know diesel's in oil, but it's gonna pull all the lubrication out of your cylinder liners. So what I did is I disconnected, this is the feed out of the, the pump and I just blew compressed air through it, right? And that'll push and purge all three heads, bring it back around, down, out, and into the return system and back into the tank. But dummy me, it took the frickin' rocker box off first, which means as soon as I did that, I had himself some sort of petroleum old faithful as the injector uh, plungers lifted skyward and so, yeah, don't make that mistake. Blow the fuel back first, then pull the rocker box. Other than that, everything seems to look just fine. One of the possible problems for the knock might have been bent push rods. Well, here they all are, and they're not bent. And the way I did that, gosh, look at the birds, like it's been Australia. Um, the way I did that is I set them on top of each other and I rolled them, right, and uh, they'll become instantly available, or instantly obvious, rather. That's the gasket from under the rocker box, absolutely, gonna reuse that bad boy, and uh, nothing too ornerous in the top end. So that's where we sit. That should be here any minute. Any minute. Oh, yeah, and I pulled the cooling gantry off, and everything is. The heads do not have that sort of road surface of rust in there, but they ain't good either. I also am not going to have those O rings. Forgot about that. I'm hoping I can go to Napa and buy some somewhat thicker just round butylene o-rings and at, at least at least get her up the hill what a mess what a mess so anyways that's where we sit